James Bond fans will have to wait until next year to see Daniel Craig's final stint as 007. MGM announced Friday that No Time to Die has been delayed from November 20th to April 2nd, 2021, due to ongoing global concerns over COVID-19. The Bond movie starring Craig as the iconic British super spy had already been moved from its initial April 2020 date in the early days of the pandemic. We understand the delay will be disappointing to our fans but we now look forward to sharing No Time to Die next year. The studio said in a statement and on social media. No Time to Die will not have to compete with F9 on its opening weekend. Although the Vin Diesel action sequel was scheduled to hit theaters April 2, after it was originally planned for a 2020 debut, Universal confirmed Friday that F9 is moving to a Memorial Day weekend opening on May 28. No Time to Die is the latest movie to move in a chaotic year that's seen almost every major big budget film to get punted to 2021. The only big movies left in 2020, Disney slash Pixar Soul, November 20th, as well as Warner Brothers Dune, December 18, and Wonder Woman 1984, December 25th, Daniel Craig's final mission, James Bond star says No Time to Die will be his last Bond film another reason for a delay, the box office is a bit of a disaster. Many theaters have reopened after being shuttered by the coronavirus in March, but so far U.S. audiences have been slow to return as the country has continued to struggle with spikes and hot zones. Christopher Nolan's thriller Tenet, which had been expected to be a hit before COVID-19 hit, has only made $41 million domestically compared to $243 million overseas. No Time to Die directed by Kerry Joji Fukunaga, features Craig in his swan song as Bond and also stars Lashana Lynch, Anada Armas, Naomi Harris, Jeffrey Wright and Rami Malek as new supervillain Safin contributing, Carly Malenbaum.